Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion and he remains one of the best lightweights in the world. If he's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goals. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just outgrind you over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he has put his best foot forward, and he draws yet another elite lightweight in this spot tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31. Poirier is two inches taller. The reach is identical. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Poirier gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Effective punch there by Poirier. And just misses with that big right hand. 
Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Right hand upstairs. Head kick land. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Just unable to quite find that range. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Three minutes to go. Going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, single collar tie here. He got the turn in that kick. Flush right hand is true. Liver kick. Just misses with the jab. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Laurier gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. And there comes the separation now. Nice knee to the midsection there. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Big kick lands. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Poirier gets caught with that punch. He'd be oh, wise to get those hands big up. Take down. Is this the one that's going to break you? Nice hammer fist. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop us. you got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, working inside the close guard now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Court. Right hand upstairs. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Real sneaky body kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Overhand lands flush. Big kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right now, what's my screen screen for that? All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had, his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice punch there by Dustin Poirier. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand 
nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict in one strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Let's keep I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the straight left hand. Uppercut counter by Lee. Poirier gets hit with a kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Lee's kick is blocked. Poirier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Over and over, he's landing big body kicks. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Pretty good right hand. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Striking, got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 15 seconds. Poirier going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Nice one-two there. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, 
and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets right, underway. Good. His strong good. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage to see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at him drive his shit into his own spot with that body kick. And they separate. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. All right, so Dustin Poirier with a nice one-two there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up. He has natural power in the right, but he's developed great power in the left. He's a problem, man. He's big, he's strong, and Dustin Poirier has unbelievable long arms for such a small guy. That's why the jab gets there so often and it's so damaging to his opponent. Oh, he's a strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Clean with the right hook. Oh, nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, high-level stuff here. Speed to catch the kick. Now counters with a takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Pretty significant well to the left side. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Well, the unofficial numbers there, bottom of your screen, pretty gaudy to this point of the fight. 140 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Well, the accuracy rate not too bad either. 43% on the connections thus far against Dustin Poirier. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Some nice back and forth action here. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Poirier's 
Nice kick to the body is blocked. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Got clipped with the right hand. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. There, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. He's going after the head. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Now connects with a right. All fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice leg kick there by Poirier. Big body to the land. A little single collar tie there. Three minutes remain in the round. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Try to establish that jab. Nice body put right under the elbow. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Poirier. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick blocked there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Under two minutes to go. Poirier's kick, that one blocked. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Misses again with a right punch. Poirier gets hit with a kick. Oh, and he wears, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. Poirier's kick to the body is blocked. Back to the jab now, no good. Lands the right hand. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press 
Listen, he's got to go chase that finish down now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right hand punches the clinch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful body kick. Take down the test plate, and it's good. Hammer fist here by Poirier. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Big kick land. Right a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Lance with a right hand. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Aurier gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Right hand upstairs. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Poirier. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Liver kick. Poirier's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get an arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Two minutes now to go in this one. Poirier's kick attempt there blocked. Beautiful leg kick. Throw. Continues with the leg kick. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Nice strike. Way to hide that leg kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. 
Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Poirier gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Left hook, right hand. One minute to go in the fight. Switch the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, how good is that Poirier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights in the south ball, but he's a right-handed guy. Oh! So there, I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. I mean, how many can he take? decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 50 45 played the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance.